so let me find that image over here uh, let's come down here to the public folder and say open containing so let me just see open containing I want to go to the uploads and there we go but we forgot one thing here is to change the file name so let me close that so let me come right here there's the image class right there and this generate file name so instead of us using this name here image raw name we have to forget about this name so instead what we will do is put a dot like that you concatenate and put jpeg jpg but don't forget the dot here as well dot jpg and then let's create a random uh, name so let's use the image class right here i will copy this and put it right there paste and then let's go back here to our image class and look at that function again so i'll go at the top it says generate file name and the length copy and then let's hit uh, paste over here so inside these uploads here we just have these up random uploads here so length here you can put any number uh, as long as a number as long as 60 will do just fine and keep in mind that not all uh oh sorry not all of them will be 60 characters long it's just the maximum is 60. minimum is four maximum is 60. okay so it will generate a random character here and jpeg over there so this is uh, pretty good so i will copy this for the other side as well which is the is this the edit yes this is the edit so i'm copying this for the add and paste oops should have replaced everything okay pretty good yes yes let's click add and browse one more time this one is what product is this mac yeah whatever so let's just write mac mclean traditional traditional mm -hmm. okay so let's add some quantity and it's, uh, it's just food that we have here and uh, eight or oh, six point ninety nine with that one item there and let's hit uh, save yay product added and there we go very nice now let's go back to our folder of uploads and see what we've got so if you look at this product right here now you see that it's got a very random uh, character name which is good this way you don't get duplicates okay also in future we'll have to make sure that when we do delete a product we also delete the images associated with it that's important so we're going to do that in a later video but let's come back here and check what we've got okay so very good here the problem is we still have this issue of the images being uh, of different sizes but fear not because our class already has a solution for that so let's go to the image class right here and if you look closely here we have uh, this function down here which is get thumb posts and the file name so that's all we need let me copy that and it will solve all our problems so let's go to the controller and let's see where it says home image home 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 so on this home here we say select all from products mm -hmm. but we do need a limit for pages here but we will fix that later so rows is here now it's important to note uh, that if rows is set i should have done an is set here right there uh, what to do here let's do it here shall we I will say if uh, what am I looking for if rows like that and then let's do a for each 
So I want to go through all the rows that are here and set that to single row like that. I don't need the key, so I just need the row there. Now what I'm doing is I'm going through all the, oh, I actually do need the key. So sorry, my bad, very important there. So I'm going through all the rows and what I want to do is I want to change the original image links to the thumbnail versions. Now, the reason I'm doing this here is because I don't want to have to do this inside the home page, the index page here. I don't want to do it here because I don't want to have any logic inside the view. The only logic that should be here is a few if statements and a few loops like this one for each loop. Anything else should not be in the view. It should always be in the controller or the model. So let's go back to the home controller here and let's do that right here. So as we are looping through this, what I'm looking for really is the key and not the row. So what I will do is I will say rows because I want to edit the actual rows. So I'll say rows uh, key, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, here. One second. Okay, so they are they are objects. So I'll say this like so, and go to what do I do here? Yeah, image. Mm -hmm. The very first image here, because we only see the image one on the home page. We don't see the other images, so there's no need to create thumbnail versions of those. So I'm just going to paste that here, get thumbnail. Now the way get thumbnail works actually is that um, if I go back here, if the file already exists, it will just return the same thumbnail. If it doesn't exist, it will create a thumbnail by cropping the image to this resolution over here. So you can change the crop size that you want using these values right here. So you can put a number that you want here. Now, if you don't want them to be square images, you want them to be longer in the width or the height, you can actually do that by changing the values here. So instead of 600 by, eight, uh, by 600, you can have 800 by 600 or 600 by... So it will respect that if you do that. So just keep that in mind. And once you create the thumbnail, it won't be creating it anymore. It will just uh, be returning the same value. So if you want to create a new thumbnail, you have to delete the old one and so on. So all it does, it gets the file name and appends this post thumb at the end to make it the thumbnail version. Okay, so enough talk, let's play. So here I want to add image underscore class and point it like that. So file name, now the file name here is this one right here. So this, key image will be replaced and let's put that right there like so so the same item in here this is the file name but the file name in there will be replaced by the thumbnail version that's what we are doing here I hope that's not uh, confusing but we need this image class to be created so let's load it just like we are loading this and I will say image like I saw and put image class over there. And we're home and dry. Mm -hmm. Now, if rows, this is when we are supposed to set this to an actual value, yes? But uh, for now, let's leave it right there. We'll figure these problems out as we go. Or you can say uh, if rows, if data rows, uh, wait a minute, if rows, we are already doing that here. Hmm. No, I think I'll leave it like that for now. Okay, so refresh. Let's see the moment of truth on the home page, shall we? Refresh, and there we go. So as you can see, all the images are now square. Okay, everything be good. They are all looking great now. Okay, so pretty good. So far, so good. We will continue in the next video.